Hey dudes, CI here. So a few weeks ago I did a video called Jurgen Klinsmann Sucks, where I ranted about the US men's national team coach Jurgen Klinsmann. Alas, I'm not terribly happy with that video. I did it off the cuff, without a script, without planning out what I wanted to say, so it really just came off as a rant. Today I want to revisit that topic, and this time I want to get it right. I want to present a thoughtful analysis of why Jurgen Klinsmann does, in fact, suck. First point, and probably the most important point, the number one responsibility of a coach, even more important than strategy and tactics and practice, the biggest thing a coach needs to do is figure out who his best players are and where they will play their best. Got a great striker? Don't play him at winger. Play a winger there. Got a great winger? Don't play him at fullback. Play a fullback there. This sounds like a simple task, doesn't it? But this is my number one complaint about Jurgen Klinsmann. Hell, it's everyone's number one complaint. For as long as he's been coach, he's played guys in the wrong position. We've got a guy who kicks ass for his club playing central attacking midfield. Klinsmann plays him at central defensive midfield. Funny thing is, we've already got a guy who kicks ass for his club playing central defensive midfield, but Klinsmann plays him at central attacking midfield. Is there a guy who plays winger in one of the world's best leagues? Klinsmann will play him at fullback. Got a kick-ass fullback playing in Mexico or another kick-ass fullback playing in England? Klinsmann doesn't even have them on the team. Why would you want awesome fullbacks when he's got this winger he can play there? What if the winger gets hurt, you ask? No worries, he'll just stick a center back in there. I'm not making this up. All of this is true. Klinsman's been doing it over and over and over for as long as he's coached the team. He takes strikers and puts them on the wing. He takes withdrawn forwards and makes them play in the center of the boxes, target forwards, where, big surprise, they fail. It's not their fault. They were set up to fail. They were made to play a position they're not used to playing. I said putting your best players in the best positions is the single most important job a manager has, but the truth is it's also the easiest job. I mean, how friggin' hard does this sound? You've got a good center back, play him at center back. This ain't rocket science, and yet Jurgen Klinsmann either has no idea how to do it, or he simply refuses to do it because he thinks he knows better. Why play the players where they're used to playing, he probably thinks. I know better than their club coaches. I'm the great and powerful Jurgen. <sighs> Another easy task he fails at, and the second reason he sucks, finding a good lineup and sticking with it. Play the same dudes together, let them get used to each other, let them get a rhythm, let them turn into a team. Jurgen refuses to do this. Every game it's a different lineup. The players can't get used to the guy next to them because every game it's a new guy. Again, this is not rocket science. I am not talking about really complicated stuff here. I'm talking about a coach's most basic job. I could do this. You could do this. Jurgen Klinsmann cannot. American soccer nerds have been bitching about this for five years. We've watched the U.S. talent pool get better and better, while the team's actual performance has gotten worse and worse. We've screamed into the void, begging Klinsmann to do the sensible thing, to play a sensible, logical lineup. And then, a couple weeks ago, an amazing thing happened. After five years, Klinsmann finally listened. A huge international tournament started, the Copa America, which is basically the World Cup for the Americas. The Copa America started, and Klinsmann put out a decent lineup for the first game. Not perfect, of course, but decent. Sensible. He mostly played our guys in their correct spots. Our striker was a real striker. Our central defensive midfielder was a real central defensive midfielder. Our left fullback was a... Okay, well, he was actually a winger, so Jurgen messed up there, but one guy played out of position instead of all 11 guys? <laughs> we'll take it. It was their first time playing together, of course, so they didn't do so great, losing 2 nothing to a really good Columbia team. But then the most amazing thing happened. In our second game against Costa Rica, Jurgen played the same lineup. The same lineup! I swear to God, it was the same 11 dudes in the same 11 positions, and all us American soccer nerds practically pooped our pants. The simplest thing a soccer coach can do, and finally, after five years, Jurgen Klinsmann had done it.
No surprise, we won that game, handily. Then, for the next two games, Klinsman ran essentially the same lineup out there, and we won both times. Four games in a row with a sensible lineup. We go 3-1, and one, and we're in the semifinals. Hooray for competent coaching. Hooray for finally, after five long miserable years, doing the easiest thing in coaching, putting your best players in their proper positions and letting them get used to each other. It took Klinsman five years to figure it out, but he'd finally done it, and we were so damn happy. But could it last? Of course it couldn't. For Tuesday night's semifinal against Argentina, the U.S. was missing three starters. A couple were out for getting too many yellow cards. One was out for getting a straight red. Just when Jurgen Klinsmann had finally played a sensible lineup, he's got to replace three guys. Do you think he did it well? Do you think he picked the correct guys and played them at their correct positions? Of course he didn't. Of course he messed it up. And of course the team got slaughtered as a result. We needed speed up top, so of course we should move Jossie Sardis there. Does Klinsman do that? No! He puts slow as a turtle Chris Wondolowski there. Why? Because he's Jurgen Klinsman. We needed someone young and fast and great with possession in the middle, so of course he should start Darlington Nagby there. But does he? No. He puts old man Beckerman out there instead. Why? Because he's Klinsman. We needed aggressiveness on the wing, so of course he should start young gun Christian Pulisic. Does he? Of course not. Why would we, ex why would we expect him to do the sensible thing? He's Jurgen Klinsman. He gave us four games of sensible lineups, but when suspensions forced him to change things, he completely and totally failed. Final result? 4 nothing Argentina, and we didn't get off a single shot. Not a single damn shot. It was humiliating. And so I'll finish with the third thing I hate about Jurgen Klinsmann. It's never his fault. He always finds someone to blame. Usually he blames the players, which is infuriating. We've got great players. Most people would agree that there are more great Americans playing around the world than at any other time in history. But Jurgen still says his players aren't good enough. It's not his fault for playing them out of position. It's the players' fault. And then, after blaming his players, Jurgen will just blame Americans in general. When fans complain, when the media complains, Klinsman will say, Americans don't know soccer well enough to understand what he's trying to do. He's done this over and over and over. When the coach of your national team has palpable contempt for both your nation's players and its fans, where can you go from there? Nowhere. You're doomed to failure. You're wrong, Jurgen Klinsmann. We Americans do understand soccer. We know a bad coach when we see one. We recognize when a coach is failing at the simplest things. You, sir, are failing. You've been failing for five years now, and because your boss doesn't have the spine to fire you, we'll get to watch you fail for another two years. After we underperform at the 2018 World Cup, after we watch you screw up the simplest things, after we watch you blame the players for the losses, then hopefully, finally, blessedly, we can watch you leave and never come back.